Oh, my hair's still a bit wet. Sorry. <laughs> we are live. Hi, Jenna. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you. So let's take a minute and just make sure that everybody can hear us. Mm. So we're going to ask that anybody who's tuning in to just send us a little hi. Let us know that they can hear us properly. We're going to give it a minute. Mm. And, um, you know, it's 1 p.m. here in Tel Aviv, so a lot of people are working, and they're going to catch up on this uh, later on in the day. Yeah. I know, Jenna, you woke up at 5 in the morning. <laughs> um, I, yeah. Worry. So thank you so much for that. No problem. Um, we're just, okay, great. So we have a hi. So can I, if everybody hears us, can you just say, uh, can you just write that you hear us okay? Uh they don't see me in the live. Um, hmm. Can they see me? Um, can they? No, I, I don't know. Let's see one second. <clears throat> um, let me see. Share screen. wonder why <clears throat> it's supposed to be live so i don't know why they can't see us um let me check on facebook ah okay so okay. can everybody see us and hear us now i'm just gonna double check okay perfect all right so we are live awesome Jenna, you have such an amazing story i am so excited to hear it with the group i mean you know, when we first spoke on the phone, I was sure you were going to tell me, you know, that you lost weight, that you're feeling great. And, mm -hmm. you know, I thought that that's what this was, was going to be about. And of course, you did lose weight and you are feeling great, but this, yeah. this is so much bigger. So let's jump right in. Let's tell everybody, uh, let's go back a week and a half ago. You joined the group a week and a half ago. So before yeah. you join the group, tell everybody, I know people, you know, really want to know what medical condition did you, you know, are you experiencing? What have you, what have you been dealing with and how were you feeling before you joined the group? So I have anemia and I don't get enough oxygen circulating. So it's kind of hard to breathe sometimes. And before the group, I was still eating, you know, like two to three veggies a day, plus a serving of fruit. And I still was not feeling as good as I am now eating eight to 10 cups of veggies a day because throughout the day, I would feel like I would need to take more iron pills. And now that I'm eating eight to 10 cups, I don't have to take as much iron anymore. And I've been up since- Before you jump into how you're feeling now, let's just let everybody know what you were feeling before. So you said you were yeah. taking lots of iron supplements. You were yeah. feeling, um, what were you feeling? Tired? Like what are the symptoms yes. of that you were feeling? Yes, I was tired, sluggish, um, trouble standing up straight because I couldn't really breathe. I was just so tired. I'd hunch over a little bit and I'd have these really dark circles under my eyes. Wow, how long have you been dealing with anemia? I've been dealing with it, not as much as a kid, but more ever since I started puberty and I was getting my period. And how old so are you now? I'm 26, so I've been dealing with this since I was 11. Wow, that's a, that's a, must have been so weird. So, Okay, so you joined the group about a week and a half ago, and I mean, your, yours is a funny story because you actually joined the group because uh, you found it. You were interested in coming to Israel. Yes. You happened to be on a group called Secret Tel Aviv. Yes. And then you just <laughs> saw, you saw the Sex Up Your Veg group going yeah. around in Secret Tel Aviv. You joined the group. So, And you're in Missouri. So, yes. um, well, everybody, and by the way, everybody, you know, Jenna woke up at 5 a.m. She's in Missouri, America right now. She <laughs> story. So it's such a powerful story. She made sure, you know, that she could get on so that everybody could hear it. She woke up at 5 a.m. So tell us, since you started, you joined the group and a, a week and a half ago, and you started right away to eat eight to 10 cups of veg a day. Is that right? Yes, I started right away. I'm like, you know what? I got nothing to lose. I just grocery shopped. I'll give it a shot. And honestly, it's been a really smooth transition. Uh, it's been yeah. Great. 
I'm so happy to hear that. So tell us, you know, what about the symptoms that, um, how, like, how have they, how is it, how has eating eight to 10 cups affected uh, the anemia specifically? I have no trouble breathing in the middle of the day anymore. It's great. I feel like I can breathe like a normal person and I'm not tired. And like, I've been up since five, no dark circles, absolutely nothing. Usually they're purple, no matter what I do. That is crazy. It's great. I will never go back. <laughs> like in terms of, because you said you used to be tired and sluggish. So how are you feeling now? I feel great. I haven't even had coffee, and I'm I'm like, woo. <laughs> wow. I'm at five a.m. So like, oh no, I could wake up at five a.m. <laughs> um, and so, and, and I mean, have you shared this information with your doctor? Like, have you said, by the way, like, you know, I've been suffering with anemia since I was eleven, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, now that I've started to eat more veg and tons of veg, like my symptoms are disappearing. I haven't shared it with my doctor, but my mom's a nurse, not specifically my nurse, but a nurse. And I told her uh, what I had been doing because she had told me that she said I looked great and I didn't have any dark circles. She noticed I had more energy. My skin looked great. So I told her about the group and she was like, wow, keep it up. This is really good for you. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Thank Lisa. you. So tell us, and what else? Because I know that you know you had talked obviously about you know you had lost some weight and mm -hmm. you had skin improvement. Like, what other types of benefits are you experiencing from eating eight to ten cups of veg a day? I I don't have to wear as much concealer under my eyes, if any, because my my circles were they were so purple. I mean, it was great because it brought out the green in my eyes, but they would be so <laughs> purple there would be nothing I could do. I could sleep eight to ten hours. The best sleep I ever got in my life, absolutely no change. But now that I'm eating all these veggies and getting more oxygen, I'm not really having any purple circles anymore. And it's been phenomenal. It's really making me feel like my age again. I know that's kind of silly, but it does. <laughs> well, I know exactly. Wow. It's so funny because I'm you know, 38, but now since I started to eat 8 to 10, I feel like I'm in my 20s. And I also yeah. think I look, you know, younger. Like I think it improves. You do. Thank you. <laughs> um, I feel, I really feel like I'm in my 20s again. Yeah. Uh, so that's amazing. So tell us about, um, and you've lost some weight as well in a week and a half, right? Yes. And I have been loving it. It doesn't feel like a diet at all. It feels like I'm supposed to eat like this. And the mental shift that occurred, I was absolutely shocked because for me, I had already been working on the mental shift for a while and I still couldn't give it that last push. So day three of eating eight to 10 cups of veg, it just clicked. And I'm like, wow. So if I'm going to be eating like this, I don't have to like worry about junk food. Not, I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but since there's no room for it anymore, I just feel like, all right. Cool. And I found new foods I can go to if I've had a bad day, like vegetables and hummus or uh, vegetables and some Greek yogurt dip. And I'm like, I'm still just as satisfied than I would be with like pizza or something. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm totally, for me, it's the same. Like I, I don't, there's no room, right? There's just no yeah. room. I think about the processed food. Yes. Um, it, it's, I think it's like the easiest way to eliminate, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff out of your diet without really suffering because there's just, you don't yeah. think about it anymore. Um, so that's amazing. So what would you tell somebody, you know, I know that you had written in the group and I had written in the group as well that, you know, mm -hmm. somebody just the other day said to me, um, it's not sustainable to cut out processed food from your life. It's not sustainable mm -hmm. to eat so much veg. Um, what would you tell somebody, you know, I know that some of your friends have been saying that to you. Um, so yes. what would you say to them? What would you say to anybody in this group who thinks it's not sustainable? I would tell them, give it a shot for a week. It's much, much easier than you think to add in those extra cups of veggies. If you like smoothies, you can add in a handful of spinach and not even taste it. You can get in a lot of vegetables. If you just add in a cup or two of a side salad instead of fries or chips, or you can have a little cup of vegetable soup with supper and that'll still help fill you up than eating a bunch of potatoes or a big piece of bread. That's amazing. Well, thank you, Jen. I'm no problem. 
going to be a short live because I know that you just woke up. It's 5 a.m. And I know that you worked <laughs> um, You had said that, you know, I remember when we first spoke, you said that, you know, it's very tough because you're working seven days a week and you used to or eat out a lot. I mean, yeah. you know, that, that didn't make you feel good. Um, mm -hmm. But since you've adopted this kind of lifestyle, it's actually making working seven days a week much easier, right? It really has. I've noticed a huge difference because around 1 or 2 p.m. is where I'll really start to feel like what where I used to. I'll have some trouble breathing. I'm tired. So I've actually cut out. Um, I'll have one to three cups of coffee a day. So I've actually cut out that last cup of coffee with all the vegetables I've been eating. So that's wow. been really great. That's amazing. Uh, thank you. So, listen, Jenna, keep us posted. We want to hear more about, you know, how... Um, things are going with the anemia. We want to know if it's like completely okay. cured for you um, in a matter of time. So keep okay. us posted in the group. Everybody wants to know how you're doing. We all want you to be healthy and feel good. Thank and you. thank you so much for sharing your time today. And no we problem. Will see you soon. Yeah. All right, Jenna. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.